Debating Better. A professor friend of mine does a rhetoric, argumentation, and debate podcast. I love language, but I've never formally studied any of them. That gave me a chance to ask some newbie questions when I joined them for an episode. One of the things we discussed is how the word debate can mean different things. They offered some formal criteria for a definition, and here's what I took away from the conversation. One, a debate has a specific topic that everyone agrees to before it starts. The United States should implement a universal basic income program, for example. Number two, everyone agrees to the format of debate before it starts. For example, each speaker takes turns speaking for three minutes at a time. Number three, part of the format is always that speakers take turns. Number four, the audience is not an opponent. The debates are done for the audience's benefit. Five, speakers aren't trying to change each other's mind. Their goal is to convince the audience that their side is right. And finally, number six, speakers are not seeking truth or open to having their minds changed through the course of the debate. They work from a viewpoint that their position is 100% right. Another criteria that came up is that debates are done in a limited time. I didn't include that above because it can be a little fuzzy. For example, instead of two speakers on a stage, a debate could be a series of alternating books between two authors, each a response to the book that preceded it. In that case, the time limit for the debate could be until one of us dies. Under these formal criteria, I am not a debater. I find very few things in life absolutes. Taking a, this is 100% right position just doesn't work with my brain or my worldview. I'm more about figuring out how to do and make things. And as I'm writing this, I'm realizing that's much more about art than absolutes. I want to learn techniques. There's no need to spend time debating if a technique for making a thing works or not. Trying it answers that question directly. Debating which tools and techniques are better is also uninteresting to me. That all comes down to defining what better means. And if folks are coming into a conversation with an absolute position, they're going to work to define better in whatever way makes their position right, even if that's divorced from what I'm trying to do. I constantly see folks talking about how one programming language or framework or editor is better than another, but they don't start by defining what better means. More importantly, they don't take me into account. When my goal is to make something, saying I should use a tool I don't know because it's somehow generically better is, well, let's just say it's unwise. It's a suggestion I should ignore my expertise with something I know, go back to being a beginner at something I don't, and then spend the time and energy to build up enough expertise with the new thing in order to be able to at least match what I can already do because why? There can be valid answers to that question that would convince me to switch. But if you're going to try and convince me, that's the question you need to answer first. Otherwise, you're just wasting both of our time.